We all see that AI is getting smarter, but how is it actually happening? It's not magic. Let me explain. One way AI can learn is having a model play a game by itself. And maybe every once in a while, a teacher will give it a score. That would be called RLHF, where it's reinforcement learning with some human feedback. We call this approach on policy because the model is learning from its own actions. So if we apply this to language models, it means the language model writes a response, but then we score that after it writes it. Is it helpful? Is it harmful? Now, the downside is this feedback is very sparse. There's a ton of compute costs because you only know if you won at the end of every round. An alternative approach is you have the model stop playing and instead study replay. It watches labeled examples of good moves versus bad moves. So one implementation is called DPO, Direct Preference Optimization. And so this is what we call an off-policy method because it's learning from someone else's data. It's imitation learning. It's copying what experts did. Now, this approach is fast. It's stable. But if the underlying game changes, it struggles to adapt. Now, a third way to do it is where we're going to have the model play. But now we're going to have a coach sit beside it, grading every move in real time. This is what's called on policy distillation. And it's a hybrid approach where the model's learning from its own behavior, but it's also getting very rich, dense feedback at every step. So it's more efficient than traditional reinforcement learning where it only happened once in a while through really sparse rewards. Now we see this in benchmarks. So thinking machine shared some results that they did where they used the technique of on policy distillation and it outperformed other methods and also saved a ton of GPU costs.